Hey guys, it's Ursus Avenge and welcome to another Minecraft how-to video. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I play a lot, and I mean a lot of modded Minecraft. And in fact, I probably have more hours in modded Minecraft than I do in vanilla in the entire time that I've been playing Minecraft. I get a lot of questions about if I'll be releasing mod packs and how to get the mod packs that I'm playing with. Well, today I'm going to answer both of those questions as well as a couple of others. There are a few topics being covered in today's video, so you can use the timestamps in the description down below or in the top pinned comment to navigate to what you want to know. Without further ado, let's learn how to mod our Minecraft using the Twitch app. For starters, the Twitch app is a free app by the streaming platform Twitch. It is previously called Curse Launcher or Curse Forge. Curse Forge, however, still exists as a website to get mods from for a lot of games. You can download mod packs this way as well, but you'll have to dig through Minecraft's files by yourself to do that. With the Twitch app, you can easily add mods to your games and create custom profiles easily. It's a very easy way to organize different versions of Minecraft as well. To start, you will need the Twitch app, which is absolutely free. You can get it by visiting curseforge.com and selecting Client from the menu. Then hit Download the Twitch Desktop app. For convenience, I've linked this page in my description down below. Once it opens, it'll prompt you to log in with Twitch or Curse, or you can sign up here. Creating a Twitch account or a Curse account, they are both free. Uh, they're migrating everything over from Twitch anyway, so I suggest that you do log in with a Twitch account or sign up with Twitch. It'll be pretty useful down the line anyway. Once you're logged in, you'll be greeted with your Twitch homepage. From here, you go to Mods at the upper middle, press Minecraft. So here on my account, I do have a bunch of different options for different mod packs that I have created in the past. You can ignore those. For the most part, you'll probably either just have a generic one or there might not be anything here at all. Let's start with downloading an existing mod pack from CurseForge. All you have to do is press browse all mod packs and you can search for any of the ones that you want. You can search by category. Uh, it makes it really easy, but if you know the specific name of the mod pack you are looking for, you can go ahead and search for it here. Now these are all mod packs that have been released to CurseForge by mod pack creators. You can create your own, I will get into that later. I personally do have a couple of mod packs on CurseForge. Let's start with Aqua Infinity. Because I already have this mod pack installed, it's telling me to play, so I'm going to quickly uninstall that. Going back to the Aqua Infinity mod pack, now I can press install. It's unzipping, creating all the files for me. Depending on the mod pack, this could take a little bit longer or shorter, depending on your internet as well, as you are downloading it and it is installing to your machine. There we go, that's all good. Go back to your mod packs, you'll see that it is installed. What I like to do is I like to check to see how much RAM is dedicated to each profile. I'm going to right click and view profile. So this is a more in-depth view of the mod pack itself. You have your overview, which has a little bit of a description, installed mods, resource packs. This is where you can install your resource pack. You can also add other maps here, but I'm gonna focus on the mods here. So if you were interested in adding to or removing some of the mods, you can go into open folder in the upper right, and you can edit the mods here. You can also add your resource pack as you need, but this is where you would go to add mods. Just keep in mind that with heavily modded mod packs or even some that even might not have a lot of mods in them, there can be conflicts. And it takes a lot of practice to figure out where those conflicts are. And also don't forget, you will be needing some additional mods called dependents. I'll get into that later, but you, you need everything before it's gonna work. There's a lot that goes into creating a mod pack. It's too much for me to cover in this one video that teaches you how to install existing mod packs. And I know I probably couldn't do it justice. So we're just going to focus on installing existing mod packs and making a profile with one or two mods. So there's one other thing I wanna do here and it's open up the profile options. You'll see here that it's going to use memory settings for use a system setting. Usually that's okay. It's going to take what your computer actually has and allocate it properly. I'm going to unclick it just temporarily to show you that if you knew how much um, RAM you had, if you needed to increase or lower your RAM usage, you could do it in this menu. If you don't know how much RAM you have, you can check the About Me page on your computer or About Your PC in System Settings. And scrolling down here, you see that I have 16 gigabytes of installed RAM. On average, most computers will have eight. A lot of them are gearing towards 16 now. Um, but older computers will have four or less, so just be careful about allo allocating too much RAM because it, it won't open. 
Same thing if you allocate too much RAM, it won't open. If you don't allow enough, it also won't open. Uh, each mod pack requires a certain amount of RAM for it to function properly and not lag, uh, but that's really just going and guessing to see how much you need. There are tons of other tutorials that can teach you about what your computer does and what your computer specs mean for gaming, so go ahead and check out some of those as well. That's just how you check how much RAM you have to know what you can allocate. For the majority of the time, you can just use the system settings and it'll work fine. For reference though, Aqua Infinity, you should have at least three gigabytes allocated uh, because it is a big mod pack. Let's try some other mod packs. We're going to browse all mod packs one more time and search camp. Do you want a crafta? And you can install this one as well. There are not as many mods in this one, so if Aqua Infinity is too much, go ahead and try it. Do Camp Do You Want a Crafta? This one's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite mod packs as well, but it's available for you guys to play now. And one more, Ursula's Grotto. You can install this one as well. When you search for it, just search Ursula, uh, which actually both of mine come up. The Aqua Infinity one was actually by Rutigem, and you can install this one as well. This one is almost as big as Aqua Infinity though. I will add the direct links to these mod packs as well. Uh, just in case you want to download them without the Twitch launcher, you can do that as well. They are available on CurseForge. Again, the links will be in the description down below. The last thing you need to do is test them to make sure that they function. So we're gonna start with Aqua Infinity. Okay, it'll load up your Minecraft launcher. If you'll notice, this is actually the new Minecraft launcher. If you have not logged in, you can do so at the top. And uh, you can go ahead and switch your profiles here as you need to, but uh, just go ahead and hit play and it should launch up. If it doesn't launch up, it could be a RAM issue. It could be a lot of different things. The mod packs as you download them are functioning. They, they work, they've been tested. So it's likely a different issue that's not the mod pack itself, but you are welcome to test and edit the mod packs, removing mods as you need them to. Uh, just try not to add any or too many mods if it's already causing problems. It's also worth noting that the more mods you have, the longer it's going to take to load. So do not worry if it does take too long. If it gets caught up on a step, definitely check your RAM. You might not have enough allocated. Okay, so this is the Aqua Infinity mod pack. This one is functioning. Okay, so step one is done. Next, we'll test Ursula's Grotto. Ursula's Grotto is working. And finally, Camp Do You Want a Crafta? And Camp Do You Want a Crafta is working. Okay, so that is how you install existing mod packs from CurseForge. Let's learn how to make a new custom profile. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new profile by pressing create custom profile. You can import a previously exported file if you are downloading them separate from the CurseForge website or if you have one that your friends have made, you can do that this way. But we're going to create a fresh new version of a mod pack. So this one is just going to have Stacy's Wolves in it. Stacy's Wolves is available for version 1.7.10, so we have to make it the profile that same version. And it's going to suggest a version of Forge. Go with that for now. If it doesn't open, it'll warn you if you have the wrong version of Forge and you can go and change that after. Okay, so now you can't change this profile picture. You can only get the custom profile pictures from existing mod packs that you download. I'm not sure why you can't create your own custom profile. There's another Minecraft profile app called MultiMC. That's the one that I typically use for my games, um, but it's just a launcher. Those you can add custom images for, that's what I prefer to use, but this one's not too bad either. I honestly, sometimes mod packs don't work in one launcher, sometimes they work in another. It's very strange. I don't know why that works, but let's get going on Stacy's Wolves. Uh, let's open up the folder. So now we have our mods folder. We're going to open that up and we have to download the Stacy's Wolves mod. So go back to curseforge.com, press Minecraft, and now we're gonna search for Stacy's Wolves. Okay, once you find Stacy's Wolves, that gives you two buttons. You can download it or you can go to the install page. Um, I'm actually not, I know this is for the Twitch app, but I don't know how to get these files to load. Instead, 
we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to open up the Stacy's Wolf page. From here, you're gonna to go to the project page. Okay, once you're here, you're going to click on files. You can get an overview on the page. It gives you a couple crafting recipes, and a little bit of description about the mod itself, uh, as well as some comments. But what we're going to focus on is just getting the file. So we're gonna get the files. And we're gonna look for the version of our game with the most updated version. So I believe these are all 1.7.10 because that's all that it's for. And we're going to get the most recent released version of the, of the mod. The R with the green means it's released. And the date is October 28th as of this video. That is the most updated version. So we're going to download the file. And we're gonna hang on to that. It's going to warn you that dot jars can damage your computer, but it's fine, it's a modification file. Okay, so there's one other file that we need to look for because this file will not work on its own. You need to go to relations. If you just press relations, it'll tell you all the ones that are required and you will download these as well. So we're gonna open up the at Futurum page. So Stacey's Wolf has two dependents, Et Futurum and Pam's Harvestcraft. Pam's Harvestcraft is actually a new one for me. I did not know that it was a dependent which is kind of strange. I play with them both like religiously anyway, so it's okay. But Futurum, I know for a fact we need. Uh, so we're definitely gonna download Futurum. We're gonna download them both. So you kind of go through the same pattern with this as well. So once you have the mod, you get the files. You're gonna look for the most recent one in your game version. In this case, it's February 10. Keep it. And look for relations. There's no dependencies in this one, we're all good. You can close that tab. Next is Pam's Harvestcraft, grab the file. So Pam's Harvestcraft has a lot of different game versions. Just search for the game version you need, 1.7.10, and get the most updated version. Download that, keep it, and look for the dependencies one more time. No results are found, we're all good. We can add these to our game. Open up your download folder by showing in folder. So great, we have our three mods here. And we can go ahead and drag them into our mods folder. Close that all up and now we can test it to see if it works. All right, it seems to load up fine. It, you can see that the mods work because you have Minecraft Forge at the bottom here. Six mods are loaded, six mods are active. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna create a new creative world. Okay, so here we have a new creative world, and I can already see that one of our mods is in. This is from Pam's Harvest Craft, and if I hold on to it, it's a leafy garden. You can actually check to make sure that everything's working fine by going to your inventory in creative, and you can see that new tabs have been added for Pam's Harvest Craft, Stacy's Wolves, and Et Futurum. Uh, so that is one easy way to check, but let's make sure for real with some wolves. I would like to make sure I can find them in the real world, so I know that they can spawn in the mushroom forest. So I'm just going to fly around to see if we can find some dogs. Here we go! Here we have some dirt wolves! Perfect! Alright, so the mod is working as intended. Keep in mind that Stacey's Wolves mod, um, the wolves can spawn a lot and cause a lot of lag, but uh, if you don't have a lot of mods to go with along with it, it's usually pretty okay. I'm not satisfied though, I think we need more dogs. So cute! I love these wolves! I love these wolves so much! Oh my god, they're so cute! Alright, well there we go, we have all of our wolves! There's one other really awesome thing about the Twitch app, and it's that you can watch me play games live through this app. Back at the homepage, you can search for my username, Ursula's Revenge, and you'll be able to see if I go live. What's extra cool is that if you make an account, which you have to do, use the app, you can follow me here and turn on notifications so you know when I'm live. You can also say hi and chat with me and other viewers while I play. So that is it for adding your mods to Minecraft using the Twitch launcher. I hope you guys learned how to add mods and you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to uh, check out some other Minecraft adventures and how-tos. Let me know if you learned something and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!